Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I have had quite the day. I have been experimenting all day with trying to set up a, a camera shoot with two cameras so that if I do any cooking videos, notice I said if this time. <laughs> It seems like it's almost going to be impossible with the equipment that I have at this point. I mean, it'll certainly be possible later, but um, I'm going to see if I can make this work. So what I did today is I had a setup with the table I'm using to cook on, which is an ironing board, because it's adjustable. Let's see. Um, my laptop, which I was trying to suspend kind of upside down so I could get overhead shots of my hands doing whatever fabulous cooking I was doing. And then my camera, my camcorder, aimed at the loveliness so that uh, you could see me when I'm talking. What else did I have? Oh, and the camcorder was on my tripod, which of course I bought the, the cheapest tripod when I bought a camera because I had no clue if I was even going to know how to use the camera. It was only $15, so it doesn't go high. The, you know, it wasn't high enough. So I had to have it aiming practically at the ceiling, almost like this, only it was even worse. And my laptop needed a table, so I used a hospital table that we have here which is also adjustable. So with all that said, I made pancakes that you will never see. <laughs> the good news is they were terrible. I had looked up recipes for making pancake mix, just the dry mix. So I made a dry mix and I was like, okay, this is cool. That part was good and uh, I could probably show you that another time. But then I wanted to use a recipe that I found online where instead of using egg and oil, you replace that with mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. So I tried making the pancakes on camera with that recipe, and it was an epic fail. So I'm not too sad that you're not going to see it except for the fact that it would have been funny. But I had so many starting and stopping and readjusting, and I mean, I worked all day on this and I would go and set up my laptop back at my desk and try to see what I had shot so far, see if I could make the edits that I had in my head that I wanted to do. And I mean, it would literally take me hours and hours to try to get anything out of all that footage because there's just so much of it that I would have to, um, I mean, I would just, it would take me forever to, to make the edits. So we're going to just trash that. and. My goal right now is just to see if this will work. What I've done this time is I have the laptop pointing at my face and my camcorder pointing down at my hands. Now let's see when I say that if you're going to be able to see my hands. Oh, and I even have a boo-boo. You're going to see my boo-boo. I um, had a, my pinky nail a little bit long, got caught, and it ripped halfway down and not quite all the way across so I have to wait for that to all grow out now and I have to keep it covered or I'm gonna catch that nail on something and then I'll, I'll start to cry it really really hurt when I did that so um all right lighting I totally planned on doing this during the day because it was daytime when I was doing this <laughs> I've been doing it all day now it's almost night, but I would like to see if I can do this at night because I'm a night owl, so I might do some cooking videos at 3 in the morning. And I have right now the big light that I have above my stove, and I have a light, a ceiling light on in front of me, and I'm going to just turn the one on behind me, and let's see what that does. And I'm just going to leave it on a little bit so I can uh, see how that, how that works out. Um, I'm almost thinking it's probably better off. So we'll leave it off. Um, so, I don't have anything to cook right now because I've practically used up everything that I planned on doing. But I will show you a tip, so this will not be all for nothing. I have always flavored my whipped cream, whipped topping, Cool Whip, True Whip, whatever whip you like, 
well, not that kind of whip. <laughs> or maybe. Um, so I happen to have a new container of, of whip topping. And uh, I'm going to show you how I flavor that with extract. So let me get it. La, 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 la. Okay. This is brand spanking new. And it is thawed. You want your whipped cream to be thawed. Well, whipped topping. I just have the great value right here. I don't know if it's going to show backwards on my laptop or not. I can show you right here. I like to flavor it because it just tastes that much better. It really, really does. So, um, normally, first of all, let's talk about extracts. Every extract I have ever purchased, when you try to pour some out, even if you do it into a spoon or whatever, the bottles always drip, always. I mean, I just, I don't know why they can't invent a bottle that has like a little, a, a squeeze bottle maybe for extracts. Maybe they do, I don't know. The ones I buy, you have to make a mess. Obviously, you probably want to try vanilla. You add a little bit of vanilla to your whipped cream and a little bit of sugar to take away the, the bitterness of the extract, and it is delish. My favorite, though, is almond extract. That, it, it just, is my mother up? That, um, to me, makes it taste like a, uh, a white wedding cake. I mean, it just, it just tastes so good. This, what I have today, is orange extract, and you'll see that I use... I put it into these little bottles that I probably got like at the dollar store. So it gives me just a little tip and I can just drip a couple drips and that's what I put my extracts in. So let's see, oh, don't have my spoon. I am so not prepared and I'm so not used to looking way up there. I'm, I keep looking at the screen but I have to look at the little dot up top. So let's see now if my overhead cam is going to work. Maybe I could even zoom in a little bit. Let's practice with that. This is all practice here. Oh, I did something. All right, I'm just gonna do, well, maybe I'll do it in the spoon so you can see how many drops. I don't know, just a couple drops. Hello? Oh, must I must open it. I like that, maybe like a half a teaspoon. Oh, maybe a little more. I'm wild like that. And then I just stir that in. Well, let me hold it. You don't want to like stir really, really hard because you don't want to. And then I add a little bit of sugar. Now, I just happen to have the my one fourth cup measuring cup here, and I'm just gonna put like you know just a little bit on the bottom. This is probably like a tablespoon of sugar, and you just sprinkle that in. So we'll call it a tablespoon. Just a spoonful of sugar in the medicine. Yeah, whatever. Oh my goodness, I can all, oh, I can smell this. Yikes, I'm getting messy. So that is it. Now, my mother just had me buy her some sherbet, and th this orange is going to taste delish on that. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. Oh my goodness, that is delish. Mmm, yum. And that's it. You just put that back in the fridge and eat it with a spoon. So, let's see if I can edit this video and put it together in the way that I have in my mind. And if I can, we will get better at this. I definitely need a new setup. I think I am going to need two camcorders and not rely on the laptop. I want you to experiment with flavors for your whipped topping. Seriously, try it. It is so good and you have to add that little bit of sugar. It makes the whipped topping so rich. It's like it's made with real cream. You're going to love it. Um, other flavors you can try is rum, oh, rum extract. Buy pure extracts, uh, imitation extracts they're not worth it. So if you can find a sale or if you can find any pure extracts like at a dollar store, buy them. You know, you only need a couple drops at a time and for sure, try to pick up some little squeezy bottles. I wish we could get some that like the food coloring comes in, you know, those little bubble bottles. They're just, they're just perfect, but you're going to really not waste your um, extract if you put it in a little bottle because 
you won't have any of that excess dripping. All right, let's hope I can upload something just to see if it worked. Thank you so much. I will get this right, I promise you. <laughs> Bye.